Alright, so last time I took us out for that, I couldn't fix it. Thankfully, I have this really old one that I can still adjust the height for. Uh, hopefully, this one will work. And you want to see old, no cup carbide carbide cutters on the blade. Oof. Found this in an abandoned building. Let's see how well this works. All right, now that is properly plugged in. Alright, so I can already smell that overheating. So I'm gonna let that rest of a few minutes let learn my lesson and uh try some and work on something else for a little bit. Alright, second thing I bought from Virginia brought up from Virginia, uh, along with the old circular saw, was router bit. Where now I can use it on that. And finish that off real quick. Alright, so not perfect but close enough for a prototype. And on to working on this thing again. Look at the prototype. Okay, so this actually ideally needs to be a little bit farther along. All right, then. So, pressing it for a maximum length. I want 34 to actually, I'm gonna say 29 inches. This little loop section here has the risk of food falling to the top, so I need to make that centered in, and that actually is in a pretty good spot, so but that should probably be about 12 inches by, I'm going to say 4 inches. This I only want to be about 3 inches wide. Uh, this is good. Alright, so I have it all planned out. Time to draw it out on here. Alright, so I have it all drawn out. I'm adding an extra inch, stitch, inch to this because four inches does, does, does not seem like a you can place a lot of uh, wine, crackers, and cheese. I also turned this into a square because I don't have a, I can't make a circle for a circle jig. I can only make something possibly for a square. So I did that. Um, so now I have to get my measurements for the jig and jig, make jigs for these. Also, it could be really crappy squares. That's done, time to make the jig.
That's jig one, so now let's test it. Maybe not perfect, but I kind of like that shape for a first go, so just gotta keep drilling, uh, riding it deeper. On a side note, watch out for your fan when you do some of this. Watch out to make sure your cords aren't hitting your router. That sucks. That looks so, so much better. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, that looks a hell of a lot better. Um, I was even able to try and concave it a little bit, but don't really want to do that. Uh, let's learn. I got around all at one depth all at once. Uh, else I'll have issues with the routing. But on to that one right there.
had the three heads, but still looks pretty good. All right, so next comes trimming this thing down so I can have the bar for cell phones and maybe get a couple more out of this. I should know better than to do that. Well, I'm just asking for ideas. I'm trying to plan again, so that's all. Right. Well, actually, that circular saw being out of commission kind of kills what else I was going to do today. So just cut down to two pieces, cut my thing bar, so pretty much done for the day. Oh well, till next time folks.